Hey guys, it is Ryan Sotman here with Keller Williams Marquee, and this is your March market recap. A few things that we're gonna go over and discuss today are closed sales year to date for the past three years. Also price per square foot, average year to date uh, for the past three years. So, and then we're also gonna look at the month supply and uh, for the entire MLS as well. So one of the things that everybody's wondering is if these, uh, if the if the mortgage rates are going to start cooling the market down, and uh, we're going to start seeing buyers exit the market basically. And at this point, uh, just from what we can see here, uh, just from you know real world hands on experience, that answer is currently no. Uh, anybody that's listing houses are still getting multiple offers. Uh, I listed a house in in March and multiple, a couple houses in March and we had multiple offers on both. One had eight and it was just absolutely madness. Um, we have another one I actually had today is April 18th and I just had that house go live April 18th and we are sitting at like at least 10. I'm, I can't, sometimes it starts getting tough to keep track of, of how many showings we are. It's in a situation where I already expect multiple offers to be coming in. So we still need sellers and uh, we still need houses listed. As I always say, now is a good time to be selling, but I'm still not a big believer of selling just because you need to sell, because you wanna make some extra money because you think this market is, is crazy hot right now. And because at the end of the day, you're always buying in the same market you're selling in. And I don't, I don't really know if, anybody can truly say that that they know what's going to happen because one we're just dealing with uncharted things right now it's how quick the inflation is happening when commodities and products still hold the same value but our american dollar the american dollar is just depreciating it's really really tough to say that we're going to see you know these houses that are that are hitting all time highs their value staying the same but our american dollar is falling that's just one of the things that it's just really tough really tough to know for sure what's going to happen in the market. If you guys ever would like to talk and have a discussion about something, guys, I'm always happy to do that. My biggest thing is I want to make sure that moving is right for you, not just sell your house because the market's hot or, um, you know, I want to really make sure that it's just a right, right time for you. Uh, and every person has an individual case. So I really, really love talking. That's one of my favorite things to do guys is just talking about having that conversation with people and, and really discovering, uh, what's right and what's not right. Let's go ahead and get into the actual data for March. All right, so let's look at March closed sales, and this is actually year to date and see what we're looking at here. Uh, year to date in 2021, things were, you know, Edwardsville your district, you see that Edwardsville district took a pretty decent decline, and so did the Collinsville district. The thing to note here, Triad District did not take any decline at all. They actually had one extra sale, and so did the Highland District uh, from 2021 to 2022, actually had four extra sales by the end of March. All right, now we're gonna look at something that I don't know if we've ever looked at before, and this is price per square foot. This is the average uh, square foot price of, of these districts here, the Collinsville, Triad, Edwardsville, and Highland District. And there is a clear winner here, and, and uh, that one being actually is probably Triad. If we look here, 2020 is a 133 average per square foot. This is year to date, by the way, guys, here. So the uh, in 2021, it took a 17% increase up to 156. And then Triad in uh, 2022, we're averaging right now is a 12.2% increase. So... Uh, up to 175. So we had two really, really big jumps, and that is um, that is the biggest jump in between any of the districts here. Collinsville in 2021 had a 12%, and then uh, in 2022, as of right now, it's looking like a 4% increase. And then Edwardsville, it took a 4% in 2021, and then a 15% here in 2022. So Edwardsville district is up in 2022. And then, I mean, of course, they're all up in 2022, but uh, Highland in 2020 took a 4.5% jump, whereas uh, Highland in uh, today, 2022, year to date is a 7.7% jump. So all did good. Triad did phenomenal. And here we have the entire month supply for the entire MLS. We're looking at monthly here on this and entire MLS. So that's this entire region basically. And we're looking at a 1.2% or I'm sorry, 1.2 months worth of supply. 
uh, like I said in the past, they say healthy market is six per or is six months supply. Good news is uh, for buyers is I think I believe last month's video had a 1.1 month supply and now we're up to 1.2. And that is it for the March recap. I will see you guys in April, guys. If for the April recap that is. If you guys need anything, guys, I'm always so happy to help. Uh, it's what brings me joy in this business. So uh, if you guys need to reach me, feel free to give me a call at 618-205-9464. That is the office line there, and I do receive text messages as well. Feel free to reach out to me on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you name it. Side note, business has been really, really good, starting out very, very strong in, in 2022. And I really have, uh, wanna say thank you to you guys. You guys, have, you guys have been sending me business. A lot of my business has just been uh, referrals. So guys, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys. And you guys are awesome. I love you guys. You guys have a blessed day. Take care.